whether you like gri, whether you don't like gri, my own is that they will carry it back today. A sister shared with me her testimony early this morning. She came all the way from Zaria just to be in the service. She attended four services. They killed four of her brothers. And the stubborn, strong man vowed that she will not marry. By 1.15 p.m., God picked him. I bet you on this altar, vengeance will strike today. She didn't tell me all this, all this why. I thought it was a, a challenge. <laughs> but when God, asked, when God did it, when God hit yesterday, she was even wondering, how come? No sickness, just like that. Vengeance does not give signal. Today, whoever has been afflicting you, afflicting your family, they will not escape vengeance. Whoever is sponsoring them with information, they will enter the vengeance too. If you are saying amen, say better amen. It is amazing. She's a professor. She's a professor. You saw the woman in the morning. But if they, tell, if they didn't tell you, you wouldn't know. She said, my family have suffered. My family have suffered. My only four brothers, she wiped out all of them. So she's now doing the work of a man. She said she couldn't understand what happened yesterday's service. But the Holy Ghost was just telling her what will take place. Funny enough, she's a Catholic. Something must happen for your family. Something must happen for you. Le Rushigano se pebre diata. Father, I thank you for what you will do this night. I thank you for what you will do this night. I thank you for what you will do this night. Execute vengeance. I thank you because you will execute vengeance upon every afflictor. Sponsor us of affliction. Whoever vowed that you will not recover. Vengeance of God. Lord, I thank you. Your vengeance will show in this service. I thank you because your vengeance will answer in this service. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. God just told me now that that's our sister that uh, they took the name of the daughter to, to fire row at her. The native doctor will die. Yeah. <laughs> I said the native doctor will die. Yeah. And what they fired at her we go back to the person today. Yeah. I didn't say 24 hours so I say today, the person will harvest back the affliction in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. Father, I thank you because you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so. Please, you may be seated. Executing vengeance upon the sponsors of affliction. God has many natures. 
He's a God of mercy. He's a God of grace. He's a God of love. He will not like anyone to perish and go to hell. But there are some people that have vowed that they will go to hell. Likewise, is a God of vengeance. Vengeance is one of the principal nature of God. And he uses vengeance to execute punishment upon every enemy of redemption. Why I say enemy of redemption is because you are not permitted to suffer what Jesus has paid for. If someone delights in your suffering, God will also delight in his punishment. If someone delights in your tears, God also delight that sorrow will not depart from his house. Amen. What is vengeance? The first thing you will need to understand that vengeance is violent revenge. That is violent payback. It is also a retaliation on a previous act done against someone. That's why I always said, mind what you sow. Because harvest must come. Some people don't like reaping what they sowed. But it's not in God's law. Whatever you sow, you must reap. Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 15. Shout against, shout against her. Today you must shout to. Round about. She had given her hand. Her foundations are falling. Her walls are thrown down. For it is the vengeance of the Lord. Take vengeance upon her. As she had done. Do unto her. So whatever any sponsor has been used to do to you, I'm not saying next month, it starts showing this night. Amen. God will do to them what they have done to you. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. God is a God of vengeance. And he executes punishment upon the wicked by his right. It is his right. That is why I say vengeance is mine. I will repay. But I have discovered in scripture that God does not execute vengeance on some, until someone cries out for it. Until someone cries out for it. The enemy does not understand. Take it easy. The enemy does not understand. Let us settle. You can't settle with someone that has vowed to kill you. I like the way Dr. Lukaya puts it. He said the wicked that has vowed for you will not settle for coma. You know the meaning of that? 
You will not settle for what? I'd like us to understand that vengeance is crucial to our rest. Why is it crucial to our rest? If there is no war, at times there is no peace. I want you to understand this. It's not only your enemy that knows how to make trouble. God said, I will trouble them that trouble you. And I will pay them back with what? Tribulation. I will recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. And how God recompense tribulation is by execute vengeance. Which tribulation means frequent trouble. And that's what God told me this night. Give every enemy an afflictor frequent vengeance. I make both to say on this altar, any troubler of your life, troubler of this church, they will get this night frequent vengeance. As they wake up and rise up, vengeance is waiting for them. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Some of them will expire this night. Scripture said again, suffer not a witch to live. Nahum chapter 1 and verse 3, the Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit. The meaning of the word acquit, let go. And will not acquit the wicked. The Lord had his way in the wild wind and in the storm and in the cloud at the dust of his feet. Which means any angle, whether they go in the realm of the spirit or in the physical, the Lord will still have his way. Amen. And I decree for you, every troubler of your life, vengeance will locate death. Amen. Somebody is wondering, Pastor, why are you praying this prayer? I say, we are praying for souls to be saved. This one has vowed not to be saved. So we'll give them what will help them go to hell quick. Are you hearing me now? Who are sponsors? Afflictions don't just come. Afflictions are enchanted. Afflictions don't just come. Afflictions are sponsored. So who are sponsors? A sponsor, I will define it in every angle, is one that is instrumental to your going down, to the abortion of your blessing, to the affliction of your health. Let me say he's the one that paid. But I discovered also that sponsors don't work alone. They have agents. Who are their agents? When does he normally come back from work? Where does he normally pass? Do you know where he normally dries his clothes? Please, can you give me information to know his condition? You are also a sponsor. So what answers for the person that pays also answers for the one that gives information. Let me put it this way. If someone is looking for how to hurt me and is getting information from you, you are the devil. Judas fulfilled scripture, but he went to hell. Is Judas in heaven? Is Judas in heaven? Was he called? 
did Jesus hear God before he picked him? Good. Judas was instrumental. He was an informant. He was the one that showed them the time that Jesus would be coming back for prayer. But even after he finished his assignment, he was still wasted. Who is a sponsor? A sponsor is someone that gives information on how you can be hot. How you can be hot. A sponsor may not be an unbeliever. It can be a believer. That's why some believers do. Vengeance still lands upon their head. A sponsor is someone that has sold his heart to the devil. No fear of God again. Ever ready, ever willing to do the evil work. God was showing me yesterday night some troublemakers in this church. Some people that are doing as if they are very quiet to fight my assignment. I'll pick them one by one and I'll be fighting them. <laughs> Is it that you relocate now? Before something will locate you. The reason why God will execute vengeance is a mockery on redemption that Jesus paid a price and someone is tormenting you, afflicting you. Your going down cannot contribute to my rising. I've not seen anybody's fall that will help you to rise. It's not, it's not done. God will not even agree. Now, I've not seen anyone that you afflicted that will increase your long life. Please, is there anyone? That is why I want to let you know, scripture said, touch not. Who is the anointed? The anointed is not only pastor. It's not only dick in dickness. It's not only elder. You are the anointed. Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. And I like the way Apostle Suleiman puts it. If you touch me by mistake, you will die by correction. I remember reading that his book, Backfire by Fire, and the other one, License to Kill Every Witch and Wizard. He said, if they slap you this side, Jesus said, turn the other side. The other side means change to the other realm. <laughs> he didn't mention turn the other cheek. Are you wrong saying that? He said what? On the other side. Since the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence, and the violent take it by what? He said, Turn the other side. What is the other side? What is the other side? <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> I was watching all of this program. Somebody was blackmailing him and the person has a bad leg. He said, okay, since one leg is bad, I will help the other one to go bad. <laughs> since you are busy spoiling my name in e 
you already have one, one bad leg. I will, I will help the other one to go bad now. So that the two will go bad and you will lose your fake ministry. I want to, to hear this. Every sponsor of affliction in your life today marks their end. Yeah. I am a blessing pastor. I am also a cursing pastor. I inherited the two from Oyedepo. Every enemy of the church registers for the cursing of God. Every enemy of the body of Christ, including you, registers. If anybody is after any of my member, the fire back in this altar, the hand back in this small boy will come against the person. Ecclesiastes chapter 8. Is it verse 11? Let's see verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not speedily executed, therefore the heart of the Son of Man is fully set in them to do what? Is it in your Bible? So if we don't react with vengeance against them now, they will prepare to do more. Let's read another scripture. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 19. Abby. Verse 19. Behold, at that time I will undo. To undo means to wreck. To undo means to spoil. To undo means to puncture. Undo means to turn back. Whatever they have sent against you is going back against them. I will undo all that afflict thee. And I will save her that halted. And gather her that was driven out. And I will give them praise and fame. So after tonight, God will put praise in your mouth. I will undo. I will undo. So we are going to be placing a demand on God's hand. Undo the wicked. Their time is up. Undo the wicked. I said their time is up. Jeremiah chapter 30. Read it from verse 16. Therefore, all day. <laughs> I've discovered that sponsors of wickedness, they move in company. They don't go alone. Therefore, all they that devour, thee shall be what? And all thy adversaries, every one of them. <laughs> My prophecy will catch up. Shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. Amen. And all they that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Amen. They have been eating you up. Today God will begin to release them to the devourer. There is what scripture called the spirit of the emptiers. The ministry of the emptier is to empty every wicked man. When the emptier is at work, it will demobilize your base, your strong base. That thing that is making you proud. You know, there is something that makes the wicked to be proud. Have you seen a native doctor cry before? I've seen one. I've seen a native doctor cry. From what I later heard, he was sponsoring wickedness against somebody. The team backfired that day. God killed his son. So he started chanting. The team didn't help him. Rather, he got malaria. I, I'm telling you because he, ca he came to me, he confessed with his mouth. After that incident, what happened next? 
if this thing can't save my child, then there is a God stronger. So what he did was to throw away the masquerade head that he's doing to do the evoking. When he threw the masquerade head, one of his wayward sons went and carried it. They normally use it to get 10,000, 20,000, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 from people. So he told, the, he told the son, this thing couldn't save your brother. I'll throw that in a will. There is no hope for you that, you know, let's look for the right God now. So one of his, um, I think that should be the second or the third wife, now brought him to church. By then the thing has hit his leg. When he said he was not going to serve the thing again, the thing hit his leg. So they were carrying him. So he said, sir, even in this condition, I still want to give my life to Christ because I don't want to go to hell. Yeah. He said it with his mouth. He said it with his mouth. I lie not on this altar. He said it with his mouth. He said, even in this condition, I still want to serve God. I don't want to go to hell. He said, he, he cried in my presence. He said, the thing couldn't save my child. Hear me and hear me well. Whatever make the sponsor of wickedness to boast against you, their powers will fail them. Their powers will fail them. That witchcraft coven will catch fire. If you are saying amen, say better amen. The last scripture before we rise up to pray, Ezekiel chapter 11. You will now see how sponsors of affliction work. Moreover, the spirit of the Lord lift, the spirit lifted me up and brought me unto the east gate of the Lord's house, which looked, which looked eastward, and behold, at the door of the gate, five and twenty men is a network. They don't go alone. All of them, they are not of the same rank. They have messenger. They have WhatsApp coordinators. Are you know what I'm saying now? They have people even in your neighborhood. Oh, you don't know? The enemy does not work, work without people in your neighborhood. It's a network. And behold, the door of the gate, five and twenty men, among whom I saw Jezeniah, the son of Azu, and Peletiah, the son of Beniah, princes of the people. Then said he unto me, Son of man, these are the men that devise mischief. Crooked advisors, evil instigators, hatred sponsors. I have no doubt. They can sponsor hatred against me. They can use you. They can do that. They can do that against anybody now. And give wicked counsel in this city. Blessed is a man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Meaning, cursed is the man that walketh in the counsel of the ungodly. If you are walking in ungodly counsel against any brother or sister, you are a cursed man. Your children too, they are cursed children. Nothing good will take place for you because you are cursed. Which say, it is not near. Let us build houses. This city is the cauldron and we be the flesh. Verse 4, therefore prophesy against them. Prophesy, O son of man. Now hear me. I want you to understand this. When God say prophesy, speak against them. When God say prophesy against them, say something that I will do to them. They have been doing you. Now God say, say what you want me to do to them. Prophesy. What is a cauldron? A cauldron is a coven. What is a coven? A coven is where they submit people's name. Carry people's picture. Evil altar where they enchant. Now hear me. If they chant for you, it's time to chant for them. 
If you call my name or my wife's name or my children's name before an evil altar, I will call your name and I will call angels to flog you. Now what does it mean to afflict? To afflict means to rubbish, to deform, to puncture, to abort, to pollute. This water can be afflicted with virus. To afflict means to contaminate. To afflict means to render useless. To afflict means make sure it doesn't happen. But God said, my counsel shall stand. And I will do all of my good pleasure. Whoever is afflicted, oh, they have afflicted our heritage. Whoever has been afflicting your heritage, vengeance will come against them. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it better, amen. amen. Psalm 94. Okay, let's read it from verse 1 down to verse 5. Oh Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth, O oh God, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. Lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth. Render a reward to the proud. Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? It will end this night. Yeah. How long shall they utter and speak hard things? And all the workers of iniquity boasted themselves. Now look at verse 5. They break in pieces thy people, not strangers. O oh Lord, and afflict thy heritage. What is an heritage? What you didn't labor for. But God gave it to you. God give you prosperity, sound health, children, heritage, long life, heritage. So if they are afflicting any of such, it's time for vengeance to answer upon their head. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. He said, For the Lord will not cast. Look at verse 14. Let's take verse 14 and verse 15. For the Lord will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. Which means he will redeem it. But judgment shall return unto righteousness. And all the upright in heart shall follow it. Rise up to your feet. Hear me and hear me where? You have to say it before God will confirm it. No weapon, form, nor fashion against you shall prosper. Amen. Meaning tonight is the end of the prospering. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. And any tongue that shall rise against thee to afflict thee, he said, thou shall do what? Amen. It's time to condemn. It's time to condemn. I read deep yesterday and I understood more better. They say, beware of fake prophets. Also, beware of right prophets. A prophet can raise you. A prophet can raise you. Now, hear me. You are going to pray, but I'm still going to pray for you. Whoever, I use the word whoever, I care less to know the person's name. Whoever is behind your sorrow, your pain, your affliction, today under God, I decree on this altar, vengeance will pick the person up. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. They have been sponsoring arrows for you, but from this minute, they will begin to harvest afflictions. Stood to put the prayer right now. As this oil come upon you, and as you begin to pray, the vengeance of God descend heavily upon your adversary. 
descend heavily upon your enemies. Descend heavily upon every trouble of your life. Descend heavily upon every trouble of your destiny. Are you praying at all or you are just looking? Oh God of vengeance. Arise for me. I command vengeance upon every devourer of my life. Every devourer of my destiny. Every devourer of my career. Every devourer of my blessing. In the name of Jesus, I invoke your vengeance. I command your vengeance upon their head. Every devourer, every spoiler, every attacker of my life, of my family, of my business, of my career, of my assignments, vengeance of God, break forth upon their head. Smite them in the name of Jesus. Oh God of vengeance. Locate every troubler of my destiny. Locate every troubler of my destiny. Locate every troubler of my life. Locate every troubler of my family. In the name of Jesus. Oh, ye sponsor of affliction against my life. Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. By the vengeance of the Holy Ghost, I command your arrows of affliction to backfire by fire. Recatoria netus in sepepere petales, zekonate taliku, jetula en karate teliaba. Oh, ye sponsor of affliction against my life. Your time is up. By the vengeance of the Holy Ghost, I command your arrows of affliction to backfire by fire. I command your arrows to backfire by fire. Recatondilus in Zekiketola, Pedro in Zuta, Penenta. Pekleku, Ezuteku, Ezalate, Pelorosh, Pelorosh, Ereklekuta, Pelialeta, Genotapa, and Razezo, Jecuteros, Jecuteros, Imperateres, and Radanos, Jecunanate, Pelacos, Strongman, Manipulating. Controlling affliction in my life. I command the vengeance of God upon you. Now. Die. 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 Every strong man manipulating evil. Manipulating affliction. Against my life. Against my destiny. Against my family. I command the vengeance of God upon you. Fall down and die. Jikuke preketo. In sudu nuteta. Likote e prekutate. Jekuka ka e krekutu. En zalepre. Jiklu prepre. Rekulata. Lagarabos. Lagarabos. En zageladas. Lagagagagagagagagagagas. Pelodododos, Lagarebodos, Lagarebodos, and the evil personality, networking affliction, networking shame, networking reproach in my life. I command the vengeance for your God upon you now. In the name of Jesus, Naroshi, Engeroto, Shekutali Yakata. Yes, yes, you say surely they shall gather. But not by me. Anyone that gather against me, they shall fall. Vengeance of God descend in their camp. The camp of the evil networkers. 
evil personalities, networking affliction, networking shame, networking reproach, networking affliction, networking sickness. I command the vengeance of God to hit them. I command them to be smitten by the vengeance of God in the name of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus arise for me. Blood of Jesus arise for me. Blood of Jesus arise for me. Execute spirit vengeance. Blood of Jesus arise for me. Execute spirit vengeance upon every terrible enemy behind misfortune in my life. Blood of Jesus arise for me. Execute speedy vengeance upon any terrible enemy behind misfortune in my life. In the name of Jesus, oh the blood, arise for me. Execute speedy vengeance upon every terrible enemy behind any misfortune in my life. Today is your end. Today is your end. In the name of Jesus, Lerodosh, Nesuze, Bekuka, Retiale, Jemoloka, Paladas, Rezagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagag
as she has done, do unto her. Whoever has done you, whoever has fired an affliction for you, Holy Ghost of vengeance, repay them back now. Repay their family back now. Repay their children back now. In the name of Jesus. They vowed that you will never recover. I speak forth this night in the name of the God of Ogerepo, whom I stand to represent, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whatever they have put upon you, go back by fire to their camp. Go back by fire to their home. Go back by fire upon their body. Any man or woman networking your debts, I speak forth by the vengeance of God. Let them be victims of what they are planning for you. Let them be victims of what they are planning for you. Strong man in your family, killing your brothers and your sisters. Oh, vengeance of God! Invade that family now. Swallow the killer. Swallow the killer. Swallow the killer. Swallow the killer. In the name of Jesus. And what they vow you will not get. Beginning from now, let restoration take place for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. They have afflicted your womb. I speak for by this communion. The healing power of God answer in your womb. <laughs> the healing fire of God answer in your womb now. <laughs> My associate pastor, they tied his penis for eight years. He was looking like an imbecile. But after a service like this, God released him. I don't know which part of your body they have tied. Whoever tied you, I release you by fire! 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 The man or the woman that puts you in that condition, let vengeance go and answer upon them. In the name of Jesus. 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 Any man or woman, networking assassins for you, networking untimely deaths for you. I command the angels of death spread their wings over them. I command the angels of death pursue them in the day and in the dream. Send them to their early grave. Send them to their early grave. They will die your death. They go as a ransom for you. Whatever God has not planted, which the enemy has sponsored, if I be a servant of God, if truly or Yerepo sent me to LFC refeed, today is the last day of that affliction in your body. As you partake of this communion, as you partake of this blood of sprinkling, urgent flushing will take place now. Urgent repair will take place now. Urgent restoration will take place now. Urgent recovery will take place now. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. I can see here. It comes upon you. Anything God has not planted is flushed out. As you go home with this blood of sprinkling, anyone that will make an attempt against your neighborhood, 
to do you evil. The blood will cry out vengeance against them. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. What they plan for you backfire against their head. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. What they plan for you, they will become victims of the same thing. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. The wicked, the wicked has planned for you backfire against their head. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. The hand of God work wonders for you. Amen. You will not know affliction again. Amen. Scripture say affliction will not rise the second time. Amen. It will not rise the second time. Amen. It will not rise the second time. Amen. It will not rise the second time. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. No more tears in your family. You will hear it this week. That strong man in your family is dead. You will hear it this week. Whoever vowed a vow against you, God has wasted them. You will hear it this week. What's the plan for you? They will become victims of the same thing. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Your sleep tonight will be sweet. Every marine attack expires. If you are saying amen, say better amen. You will not know affliction again. Amen. The blessing the enemy never wanted you to carry, it will answer for you speedily. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Afflict others is not permitted to afflict me. Congratulations.